So Saturday morning, uh, it is the 23rd of Feb 2019 um, and big day because I've never got a watch on this morning. Just after 6am, we're heading in here and uh, I'll show you why. This is the new home of attention media and we are located at 100 High Street. But the thing is that this place used to be a bakery. It's had two bakeries. It used to be the old Telstra shop in Shepparton. Now it's had two bakeries in it. So I'm in here seven o'clock Saturday morning and we're doing some demo work before we can complete our fit out. Um, this wall's staying in. And then this is behind that wall. Uh, that range hood is obviously going, that's not ours. That original kitchenette is gonna stay and all of this here has to come out. So, you guys will see this a bit later on. Uh, and by that stage, this whole room should be finished, decked out. We'll have all the signage on the windows. We're gonna have a nice big hard timber desk from JC Timber Furniture for uh, sit about eight people. We're gonna have a couple of rooms behind here, maybe an office and a, it's gonna be a podcast room back here. So super excited. Um, yeah, this is crazy. We've got a, uh, a high street shop front in Shepparton. Um, yeah, we're not a foot traffic business, but uh, this was too good a deal to pass up. So unfortunately we, uh, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, we're leaving the business centre and we are going to be located right here, 100 High Street Shepparton. You'll see it soon. All right, so, you know, um, sometimes it happens a lot, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, in life, when you hit those moments where you think, what have I done? Like, you know, what have I gotten myself into? Um, this is kind of one of those moments, but it's also super exciting at the same time because it's just a little bit of demo, some new plaster, a couple of walls, and this place is gonna look fantastic. Um, but yeah, right now, with a big commercial lease, <laughs> In here on a Saturday morning, ripping stuff out, it's definitely one of those times where you think, have I made the right call? Like, you know, this is pretty crazy. Um, but I think, you know, as I mentioned, the deal was too good to pass up. And even though, you know, business-wise, we're probably we're months away from having this kind of a space, we were, um, when the opportunity comes along, you've got to grab it. Um, if, you, if you feel comfortable all the time, you're not growing. So uh, one thing that I've learned from all people that I follow online, from you know, all my knowledge, in, in my limited knowledge in you know, 10, 15 years of business, um, everything that I've learned from you know, everybody who I know who is in business, if you want to grow, you need to be pushing yourself. You need to be going that extra step. You need to be going that extra mile. You need to be uncomfortable. So this fits right in with that build of, um, you know, it was a too good a deal to be true. It's still a bit uncomfortable. We've got a big commercial lease we've got to pay every month now. Outgoings, rates, water, like it's all there. So um, the costs have skyrocketed, um, but for the business to get to the next level and where I want to take the business, um, this is the next step. So um, it's just about pushing through. Um, and I, I did hear something the other day that when it comes to um, when it comes to fear that we have as humans, um, there's different types of fear, right? But if you're if you're doing something and you have a fear, but it's a little bit exciting and you feel like leaning into it and you not, don't know where it can take you, that's a good fear. Um, it's a good fear to have, and you should you know you should action that. If you um, have a fear of something and 
it, you know, you take a step back um, and you know, everything inside your body, your gut is telling you it's just a really, really bad idea, probably a good time to review your options and think about anything before you do something forward. So um, fear is a good thing, excitement is a good thing. Sometimes you're gonna lean forward, sometimes you're gonna lean back, um, and this time it's definitely a moving forward thing. So back into it. So this is it, it's a work in progress. Our second weekend. Signage is going up next week, new light box. And uh, we are almost getting this fit out towards the end. Plastering is gonna start happening shortly. But starting to take shape. A couple of weekends in. Here we've got our rooms at the back. Got our podcast audio room over the back section. This is obviously going to be the kitchen area and another office space in here. That then runs out into the general working area, which is out here. And today we are going to be building the nib wall, which runs through this section here. This is where we're up to. Um, this room will need another coat. Um, as you can see, it's still pretty patchy, but out here is pretty good. Uh, nib wall's definitely okay. This wall's okay. Um, maybe a little bit there. But all we've got to do now is um, take the rubbish out, which is that, um, clear out the plaster and yeah, just clean up, clean up so we can set the desks up along here and uh, get going. And then through here is uh, pretty much done as well. Um, kitchen area will be fine. Not perfect, but then again, in this room, uh, it's gonna need another, another coat, especially where the light's on the wall. You can see how, how thin it is up there. And uh, let's get the furniture in. All right guys, so that was part one of the two part vlog that we are producing that is uh, basically showcasing what we've done in building attention media, moving from our little 14 square office to the new shop front that we've got here on High Street in Shepparton. So it's a massive project. It's taken a lot longer than uh, I initially thought it would, but uh, we're getting there. We're very getting very close to finished. Um, things have changed a little bit since uh, that last piece of footage that you've seen, but we will uh, we'll do a, a big wrap up and a tour very shortly once everything is completed and finished, and that'll make up part two of this vlog series. So I hope you enjoyed watching part one. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the bell notifications on so you know when part two gets dropped. It's coming very soon. We're super excited to share it with you. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you over on part two.